So it's New Year's Eve. Temperatures are in the 50s right now. It's not ridiculously cold. It has that cold water fishing pattern that we've been uh, into past few trips. Right, guys welcome back we are out here in another spot that Tim and I have fished I'm here with Tim by the way yes. we're out here in a, in a spot that we fish uh, a little bit regularly during the winter time we know that it holds redfish um, typically a lot better whenever the tides low but we're gonna give a shot today the tides a little bit higher today um, but it's a pretty quick launch so we figured we uh, Give it a shot, see if we can pick up a few redfish. I don't have a lot of time today. Today's New Year's Eve. And uh, Casey and I, my wife, are going to the uh, Rockets game tonight. So the game starts at six. So I got probably two and a half, three hours to fish. But anyway, um, we're gonna give it a shot. See if we can pick up a few. All right, y'all, I'm gonna start off with the uh, Saltwater Assassin Die Dapper. Hooked up on a Gamagatsu uh, weedless hook. It's probably a quarter ounce. I'm gonna use this bigger bait and um, probably fish these deeper areas, bouncing it really slowly off the bottom. There's a nice little drain right here. The water's funneling into this little area, so it's it's a good ambush point for uh, for redfish. Guys, I'm gonna switch over to uh, Saltwater Assassin Sea Shad. Something a little smaller than the die dapper. Small little paddle tail, probably three inch. Got him. Oh, got him. Man, he flipped up in the air. That was crazy. That redfish jumped. All right, y'all. First redfish of the day. But this little guy just hammered it. That was crazy. And he flipped. I'm sorry I didn't get on the camera. But he flipped a couple of times in the air. All right. Here we go, y'all. First red of the day. Again, I only have a couple of hours to fish. Literally like two hours to fish. Um, and then we're going to go to the Rockets game tonight. Um, but I decided to come out and see if I can catch a couple reds he is like right under 20 inches I'm talking right probably 19 19 and three quarters nose to the board 19 and three quarters another shot one two three spots it was crazy because as soon as I set the hook on him he jumped and it jumped like I don't know like a, a trout or something but uh real pretty fish this little water has a lot of healthy fish running in it, especially in the winter time. There he goes. That's the first fish also on my brand new uh, Stratic CI4. It's a popping cork right there. I think it's just hooked up on the uh, oyster. Actually not hooked up on anything. Got him. Got him. There's another redfish. 
Uh, this is probably more of a keeper, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a keeper red. Just throwing that little uh, white uh, dye dapper. Sorry, not white dye dapper, white sea shad. Same, uh, same company, Saltwater Assassin. But um, this one's just a little bit smaller profile and it's a white bait and they're loving it. Get this guy in the net. There we go. Nice. Two fish. I got bugs everywhere, guys. All right, that's two quick fish. Just working this shoreline. Again, like I said, this shoreline's just full of oyster, right? It's not, it, it's deep in the middle, but it comes up real shallow and it's just lined with oyster. And what those reds are doing is just moving back and forth, feeding along the, uh, the shoreline. All right, here it is. He pretty much hammered this little plastic. I'm gonna have to put on a new one. But again, little white saltwater sass and sea shad. I'm not sponsored by these guys by any means, but just wanted to kind of pass along what's been working for me. Um, little paddle tail with a gamagatsu, uh, belly weighted hook. There she is. That's a pretty slot redfish, probably 22 inches. And uh, I am gonna keep a few redfish today. So I'm gonna throw it on a brand new stringer I just picked up. Yep, there we go. I nailed it. 22 inches on the money. Nose to the board, as you can see. I got this new stringer, guys. Um, it's a collable stringer, so it allows me to, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a lot more during the tournament season, but it's a collable stringer. So it allows me to separate each fish with separate clips. Um, it looks pretty cool. The only thing I might be concerned about is the uh, the corrosion factor on these clips. But um, what I'm going to do after each trip is just make sure I rinse them off good, spray it with some type of uh, Corrosion X or something like that to keep it from corroding. Uh, but I like the setup. I like the cork. It's made by Fish Hide. I'm, again, I'm not sponsored by these guys either, but I think it's a good product. So uh, we'll give it a shot. I'll probably be using it more in 2019 and uh, see how it works. It's gonna allow me to, to you know, put the fish on or remove them a lot more easier um, than with your traditional stringer, so. Right through the top. Right through the bottom. All right, and clip it back. There it is, all right. Got him. There it is, guys. They're loving that white saltwater assassin sea shad. Might be a slot. Huh? Yeah. I don't know if this is a slot. Nope, he popped off. He wasn't a slot anyway. But that's the ticket. They're just running along the shoreline right now. It's kind of a slack tide too. I'm kind of surprised, but. Yeah. Got him. There we go, guys. Yeah. All right, y'all, here it is. I got another, another red. Uh, pretty red fish, nice blue tail. It's gonna be close. 
Yeah, it's gonna be closer than I thought, but it's still pretty fish. Blue tail. Get another look at that fish. Let's put him on the measuring board real quick. He's curled up. Nose to the board. Relax, relax, relax. 20 and three quarters. Yep, almost 21 inches. All right, guys, I got two keepers so far. It's protecting something. Oh, it's got a fish. Oh, that was cool. It made him drop the fish. All right, guys, that's it. We fished a little bit longer. Um, didn't get any other bites. I actually had another bump, but uh, didn't get a good hook set on it. Bite just kind of died. I don't know what happened. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you watching the video. If you guys like it, please give me a like. Um, if you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. And uh, if you really like it, please hit the bell notification so that you can be notified of any of the future videos that I drop. As always, tight lines, and we'll see you next time.